All right, in this lecture, let's review our final exercise for this section. So we have used the goal scorers workbook in this section and we have managed to extract the goals and the penalties scored by each of these players for the relevant seasons in the relevant tournaments. What I would like to do now is to create a simple report which will show only the names of the players and the total number of goals and penalties scored by each of them. Now, of course, many of these great players appear more than once in column A. So, for instance, if I filter column A by, let's say, Messi, of course, Messi has scored goals in each of these five seasons for Barcelona and he has scored 168 goals totally including 22 penalties so I would like to create a report and in the next section we will learn how to add worksheets in our code now to make this task a little bit easier I, will, I have added a new worksheet which I will call report and let's say in this worksheet we will have three columns players names total goals and total penalties and for Messi here we will have 168 and 22 penalties and I want the names to appear only once so I will click delete and let's remove the filters Alt F11 to enable the Visual Basic Editor I will insert a new module which I will call Aggregating Data and then let's start writing a subroutine which I will call Aggregating Data Example and now you can pause the video and write the VBA code to solve this task. Alright, I'm sure you were able to do it and now let me try to do it myself as well. So, once again we are working with two worksheets. So I believe it's going to be easier if we declare object variables to hold references to these two worksheets. So let's write them and the first one I'm going to call goes WS as worksheet the second one I'm going to call report WS as worksheet uh, let's set them so I will write set goes to be equal to this workbook dot worksheets goal scorers and the second one will be equal to this workbook that worksheets report I can see the name here in the project project explorer section so now what we can do is to copy this column of the ghost course worksheet and paste it here in cell A1 so let's make a reference to the goal scorers worksheet and then we can use the columns property and we can make a reference to column A by its index number or we can use the letter A and apply the copy method and then I will use the destination argument in order to paste in range A1 of worksheet report So let's click run and when I activate worksheet report now we will see that the column has been copied and pasted. And now as I said in the beginning of this section I would like each name here to appear, to appear only once. So therefore what we can do 
is to remove the duplicates in this column before proceeding further. And this is an exercise which we haven't practiced yet, but you could have checked this in Google or you could have as well record a macro and see the syntax in the Visual Basic editor as well. So to remove duplicates, we can make a reference to the relevant worksheet and then we can, for instance, use the used range property and apply the remove duplicates method. Or we could have we could write columns that remove duplicates, it doesn't matter. So I will write like that report ws.columns remove duplicates. And when I click space, we can see the two arguments for the remove duplicates method. So for the columns, I will write 1 because I want to remove the duplicates in column A, which is the first column of course, and header, this will be Excel, yes, because I have header in this column. So now when I click run, And when I enable worksheet report, we will see that now we have less rows here. We have 2,857, while here we have 6,383. So now if I check how many times Mohammed Sawah's name, actually I need a 2... And I can check now how many times Mohammed Salah's name appear in this range. It will appear only once. So now we need to see how to get the total goals scored by Mohammed Salah and the total penalty scored. Well, we can use the sum if function. And let's write sum if. And the range of cells will be all cells between A2 to A 6383 in the goal scores worksheet, comma. The second argument will be cell A2, and the third argument will be all cells between I2 to I 6383 and now when I close the parentheses Excel will return 69 just to check if I filter column A by Mohammed Sawah and now when I select these five cells I will see here in the status bar that the number is indeed 69 so, I'm going to delete this now. And before proceeding further, I would like to write something in cell B1 and C1 as well. So I would like the data to have headers. And therefore, we can write report ws dot range B1 dot value equals total goals. And then report ws that range c1 that value equals total penalties. So I will click run. And now the format of these two cells is not the same as the format in cell a1, but this is not something that I'm going to solve now. I believe we have made examples like this in the previous lessons. What I would like to do, however, is to use the out of it method to enlarge the column width. So we can write 
report ws dot columns dot outfit. Okay, and now let's think how to write the sum if function. Well, basically, we can see that we have two ranges and a criteria. So the first range will be all cells between A2 and A whatever the last row is in the goal scorers worksheet. And then to get the total goals, the sum range will be all cells between I2 and I whatever the last row is. So that means that we will have to find the last row in this sheet and then we will have to declare for now two ranges. So let's do this. And as I have mentioned before, by convention, the variables are declared in the beginning of each subroutine. So here I will write them and I will call the first range names range as range. And then I will call goals range as range. And let's also declare a variable to store in it the last row in this worksheet which I will call goes last row as long so now I will write here goes last row equals goes ws dot range a and rows dot count dot end excel up dot row so Let's check if this is correct. I will write debug.print goes last row and I will click run and in the immediate window we can see 6383. So this is correct because I don't have blank cells here. And now we can set these two ranges. So after we have found the last row, we can write set names range to be equal to goes ws range a2 to a and we can concatenate this with the last row variable and then the goals range are also in goal scorers worksheet from i2 to i and whatever the last row is and now what we can do is to loop through all cells in column a in worksheet report so that means that we will have to find the last row in this worksheet as well and now I will declare a new variable here which I will call report last row as long and also x as long so here I will need more space and I will I don't think I will need the immediate window and the locals window so I will close them and now let's find the last row in worksheet report so I will copy its name here and write report ws dot range a and rows dot count dot end xo up dot row and now we can write our loop so for x equals 2 2 we need this last row because we're looping in the reports worksheet next x and inside the loop we need to make a reference to the cells in column b in worksheet report so we can write report ws dot range b on row x dot value equals to application dot 
worksheet function dot sum if and now this is going to be a long line so I will click space and underscore and the first argument is a range let's write the sum if function once again the first argument is a range then we have the criteria for the range and finally the sum range so the first argument in our case will be our names range and the second argument will be the criteria which are all cells in column A of worksheet report so here report WS range A on row X dot value and the third argument is the sum range which is this object variable goes RNG and now I would like to test this but before we do let's insert some shape and I will use this one and I will place it here and I will click in it to write click me and maybe we should increase the size to 18 and center the text so it looks better and let's make a right click and assign this shape to our new macro aggregating data example and what we can also do is to activate worksheet report as soon as we click this shape so here maybe we can write report.ws.activate so let's test it now and I'm gonna click this shape and this should take some time and we have the total goals scored by each of these players so let's check for instance Alexandro Lacazat so I'm going to copy his name and let's filter here in column A I will select these cells and I can see that the number is indeed 105 and now what we can do is to repeat the same process for the penalties as well so comma in order to declare one more variable which I will call penalties range as range uh, let's set it here goes ws dot range I believe this should be column j j2 to j and goes last row and now I don't want to have to write the sum if function once again so I will copy this part and paste it here and I will have to change this to the cells in column C and then this instead of goals range we will have to make a reference to the penalties range so now let's click run I will click this shape actually and once again let's check for someone else let's see for instance Wayne Rooney so I will filter here by Rooney and he has scored 52 goals including 9 penalties I believe this is exactly what is in the report worksheet so this is correct and now maybe it will be better if we sort the data in let's say descending order in column B so after we have done all this
we can make a reference to worksheet report and use its use range property or we can write dot columns dot sort it doesn't matter and key one I want to sort by column B so I can write here report WS dot range B1 order one I want to sort in descending order and finally let's ensure that the header argument is set to XO yes because I don't want to sort the header so now when we run this subroutine we should see who has scored the most goals in these five seasons so let's click click me and apparently it's Lionel Messi with 168 goals followed by Ronaldo and then we have Suarez, Lewandowski, Cavani and so on so this is an exercise how to aggregate data using some if function inside a loop now of course we could have achieved this by inserting a pivot table but like I mentioned many times above all this course is about using VBA I'll see you in the next lesson